Good morning everybody, it's actually uh, afternoon on Sunday um, and it's very showery so this week well I thought I'd try something new, I thought I'd go for a sort of capturing the weather. Um, we've been doing reflections and all that sort of stuff over the last few weeks so it'd be nice to try something uh, new. While I'm here sort of setting the tone uh, I'd like to just show you a little demonstration but what I will do in the rest of the lesson is post short or quick pictures of scenes with weather in them. Uh, some days like this, hopefully a bit of warmth and a shower or two on the way. Um, and what I'd like you to do is do quick sketches and we're going to do it in a variety of colours but we're going to try and do single colour drawings or single colour paintings. So, uh, for example, we will only use, say, blue in the first one with a bit of white and a bit of grey and then we might try a, 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 a different a green colour and so on like a, a yellow and we'll experiment to see which ones works and as we go through the lesson we'll try some different scenes and we'll try adding new colours so we're doing sort of not just a monotone but like a two colour or a three colour piece so in a minute I'm just waiting for a shower and then I'm going to run home but hopefully there'll be a shower soon so I'll get ready do a quick scamp uh, sketch and then we'll go from there. Right so I'm just going to do a quick demonstration and it was a bit of wind noise so if you can't hear me but you'll kind of get the, the gist. Uh, this is all going to be in grey okay so we're just going to just pencil in a very quick scene. I'm just going very lightly. The riverbank in the foreground, a bit of reeds. Okay, a bit of twist at the top where the wind is showing in the kind of plane trees. That's more or less the distance already done. Okay, so it's just loose and easy. Right now, I'm just going to change pen. So I'm just going to go for a slightly dark grey. Sorry about the lack of continuing continue, continuity. Um, Right now I'm looking for those sort of lines now in the in the sky that we can see. And adding a bit of shadow into these trees. Okay. Now as ever, I'm trying to do a demonstration showing a shower and there's been lots of showers today but there ain't one right at the moment but anyway we're going to sort of we might have to make up a bit of a shower but we'll see all right so that's the second color so or the second tone uh i think we're going one darker i hope you can still see that so again we're putting in a bit more shadow with the lower part of the trees and on this, sort of this, this side where there's not so much going on and that just adds contrast and put beefs up the add a bit to the future with the sorry to the foreground to where the grass is, to the river, and then to this river bank here. Sorry, it's not keeping it very, it's quite hard work with one hand, the river disappears into that. That's keeping our open foreground, and then we've got the blocks of trees there, the plain trees in the distance. Right, now we're going to add a bit more drama into the sky, where, because uh, to my, over there it's getting darker. So on, building up. Right, and then finally, I'm going to go to my darkest tone, get the lid off. Get those trees there. Dark side. Okay, and go back to the other tone. In fact, right, go right back to light now. And then there's the sort of rain is coming in and kind of joining that foreground etc okay so there you go it's a very quick demonstration and i'll do the rest in the studio so we did the stuff outside and i hope that give you a more of an impression or an idea of what sort of thing we're going to do obviously the rest will be explained in the uh, emails that will be sent out but the gist is to, as i repeat to keep the colours simple uh, or sp specifically to one, maybe two colours, 
and try similar scenes again and again or a few times and see what the effects are that you can get with just some using colour or single colour and tone. Uh, what we are trying to achieve is a bit of an event, a bit of drama and a bit of um, capturing the weather and the feeling of what we're looking at so that you as artists can go out and look at a scene, especially one that's quite lively, capture it quickly is a sketch and probably take photographs before you go back and work on it for a longer piece. Okay, so I will send a further email in about, well, it's usually about half ten, and then we'll, oh, just want to say one more thing, I do apologise, I again have had tech problems, so just bear with me a bit this morning that I'll try and follow things up as quickly as I can and get back to you via WhatsApp, but the, um, because my Mac is down and being fixed this week, uh, it's just a bit harder because I usually have the screens open so I can sort of respond to things and look at things but that might be a bit harder but I'll try and keep on top of it. Anyway have a good morning and uh, enjoy the weather this week. It should be quite warm and lively and interesting. Take care. Bye.